while a sergeant at the Arkansas Department of Corrections Cummins Unit arrested today. Police say 26-year-old Sergeant Tia Washington was searched and prison staff found an object in her duty belt containing 53 grams of what is believed to be marijuana or K2. Agents later recovered 71 grams of what is believed to be marijuana or K2 hidden inside Washington's body. She is charged with introduction of prohibited articles into a prison facility and possession of a controlled substance Washington fired from her position. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again. Hit you with a video. Now, I hope you all had a very good Labor Day, a very good weekend. I know my Labor Day was very good for those who celebrated, and also my weekend was very good. And I want to give a shout out to the Trey King Show fan. I want to thank you for making us number one, not number two, and definitely not number three. But anyway, we have a story. Yes, we have a story. We always have stories. We got more stories than Disney. But anyway, we have a story coming out of all places. No, not Florida, because you all going through enough right now. And may the most high bless you because Dorian is not bullshitting. And also, let's pray for the people in the Bahamas also, because they call a whole lot of hell what we call in the South a heat. Or a slew. But anyway, we have a story coming out of Little Rock, Arkansas. A few weeks ago, we had a story coming out of Hot Springs, Arkansas, but we had the two sisters uh, getting, you know, uh, pretty much uh, killed due to some mess that was going on, and all because of the mama, basically, when they took those kids over there. So go check that story out. Also, that was a story that came out of Hot Springs, Arkansas, but now we got Little Rock. And I don't know if you ever heard of Little Rock, but they had a little thing back in the 90s called Little Rock Banging. Yes, they were banging like they was Bloods and Crips back in the day. But anyway, we have a different kind of banging going on. We have some drug trafficking going on. We have somebody who want to be a mural. And I ain't talking about E or the donkey. I'm not talking about that kind of mural. But anyway, they were using this woman who happened to be a correctional sergeant at a prison, uh, by, by the name of Cummins and I think if I'm not mistaken let me know my people in a, a Arkansas area that's familiar with the Cummins prison in uh, Lincoln County if I'm not mistaken but she, they booked this woman uh, 26 year old Tia Washington but she's not uh, she don't look 26 she look every bit uh, 42 in the face right now. I would too if I was 26 and I done got called, lost my whole job to mess up all her benefits. And now, true, I don't agree with a lot of stuff goes on in the prison, but you know, some people have to be locked up. Let's just face the truth. But those correctional officers, uh, they might not get paid that much, but they have a, a very good health benefits and all that. They get all kinds of benefits. But anyway, all that is done with now, all because she decided to bring some K2 synthetic marijuana and also some of their Real marijuana. Now, we don't know if it was Reggie. We don't know if it was Indo, Outdo. We don't know if it was Colombian Gold. Only thing we know, she got caught with it. And where did she get caught with it? She got caught with some on her duty belt. And then she got caught with the rest, the most of the stash, inside of her trap box, her cookie. And that had to be one bigger, big, big, super big cookie for this woman to get caught with all that in her cookie. And it made a man like me just look down at my wee wee and just go, Lord. What's our purpose as men? Because if these women are able to put ounces up inside of them, Lord, what a, what a, a Viena, a less, you got a foot long going to do. But anyway, we're going to leave that alone. I'm going to go and dive deep into this story. You know what I'm saying? Just dive in there like pleasure, peace, say. And I'm going to give my opinion. Surely, as we go, Arkansas prison sergeant accused of smuggling drugs, police say. And yes, this is one of those stories. So if you don't want to hear the word cookie too many times, you don't want to hear uh, how dumb can you be, you may want to turn the video off right now because you're going to be disappointed. And I don't want to read uh, those comments in the video talking about, well, Trey, well, the whole story revolves around somebody placing something in their cookie. Let's be for real. But anyway, a correction sergeant at, at Arkansas, largest prison, damn, that's the largest prison in Arkansas, was arrested Monday and charged with attempting to smuggle drugs into the unit. And we ain't talking about G, -G, 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 -G unit. No, we're not talking about that. Now, Tia Washington, uh, and they even gave where she was from. And my people in that sip, and I'm not talking about that sip of that coffee y'all drinking right now. No, my people in Mississippi. She's from Greenville, Mississippi. Yes, you can't make this story up. When we get the story, we don't speculate. We get nothing but facts. You feel what I'm saying? It's like people have magnets and stuff. They have like bloodhounds. They're just sniffing out stories for me and everything. But anyway, she's from Greenville, Mississippi. And she was booked into the Jefferson County Jail early Tuesday morning, according to online 
records. Go pull them up for yourself because we don't speculate over here. The 26 years old who happened to look every bit of 42 in the face was charged with furnishing a prohibited article and later released according to jail records. Now imagine if you was on the receiving end of this package. You got all the boys in the unit, all the boys on lockdown, all the, the boys, the cowards, the uh, the child molesters, NPC, depended on you to come through. Because what else can you do in prison but sit around and think who ass you gonna whoop when you get out or if you're gonna change your life or how can I get how to make this time go by? And for those people who serve the life sentence, I believe they should be given one joint a day. As long as they ain't enough for molesting no children or whatever, maybe they just made a mistake, but damn, life is hard enough as it is. Give them a joint. Anyway, Arkansas Department of Corrections spokeswoman Dina Tyler said Wednesday that Washington had been caught coming on the shift. So that means they was already suspect because they check sometimes because I have people working in the prison system too. I have people in law enforcement. We everywhere. You feel me? But anyway, Every dinner they must was on her because they're like, who out of all these women? Because they, they notice when they walk down their tears and they going in these dorms, they smelling that, that, that good weed. They're like, how in the hell is this weed coming in here? Who is getting this weed? And some of them probably smoke weed and shit like that. And that weed smell better than mine. And y'all can't break me off none. You know how hard it is to get some good weed in the country. Do you know that? You know what the hell the people in Arkansas got to go through unless they growing it themselves. And we ain't going to say too much more. But anyway. Now, she was caught coming onto the shift at the Cummins unit with about two and a half ounces. Now, I'm not the smart the man in the world, but two and a half ounces from my street day, that will equal approximately 71.65 grams, if you know what I mean. So, we're looking at about uh, 71.65 grams, a little bit over 71 and a half grams. Don't ask me how I know. Of marijuana in about two ounces of suspected K2. Damn, there was a leak right there, boy. She was going to make about... Five, well, damn, five thousand, about ten thousand in prison. Cause they're gonna sell what they call them skeeta legs. You know what a skeeta leg is? Have you ever seen a mosquito? You know how little they legs is? That's how they get those, uh, cigarettes and those joints and stuff. It'd be them a, that's five dollars right there. You be having people that are selling their ass cause okay, they can't afford to pay their damn K2 and weed bill. Let's continue. Now, uh, she was caught bringing it into the unit on the ship. They was already, Waiting on, they were looking right at it and stuff. And they noticed, like, why every time Miss Tia walked by, it smelled like weed on her. But we know she don't smoke weed, quote unquote. But why does it smell like weed? Because the weed is on her belt, the weed is inside of her body. It's just like when you go in there and you're doing a turkey for Thanksgiving. What you do, you stuff that turkey. So what Tia been doing is stuffing that cooking with nothing but that good weed and stuff. She take them drawers out, it be nothing but weed smell every damn well. You know what I'm saying? Now, anyway. A synthetic form of the drug that has plagued Arkansas prison. We talking about K2 right now and been linked to several deaths because this shit right here is lab made and they keep changing the damn ingredients. How about you all just go after the, the smart ass people, these uh, scientists and stuff, these chemical uh, scientists and stuff who are able to come up with these formulas because the average person can't come up with that shit. You got people can't even go in there and make what we call Hot water cornbread. Probably, yeah, some of y'all don't even know what the hell that is. What's hot water cornbread? Ask somebody. They'll tell you. But anyway, as she entered the prison, Washington was searched by a prison. They're like, get your ass over here, girl. Arkansas State Policeman Spokesman Bill Sadler said in an email, during the course of the search, an object was detected inside her belt. They run the finger along the belts and never damn thing. She trying to have it up in the belt and stuff. Oh no, they they already used to that shit. What you what you should have did? I'm I'm gonna have to be real. I'm gonna have to be real. Don't get mad at me because I'm only reporting the story. I have to report the story because what kind of man would I be? Not if I lived unfaithfully. That's true too. But if I report the story unrealistically, so what one should have done? Number one is don't bring it in. But number two, you know they're gonna look. On your outside, then they're going to look in your cookie if you got a cookie. You should have just put it in your ass. That's all I got to say. You should have just put it in your ass. If your ass you talk to about, right, it hurt for me, take a dump. Well, then get you somebody, get you a stud or somebody to strap on and loosen that hole up and pack it in there. Because I guarantee you, they wouldn't want to look in there. Let's continue for somebody to get mad. Now, he said, during the course, it's a spokesman for the Arkansas State Police. This is everywhere. During the course of the search, an object was detected inside her belt, which was later determined to be marijuana or K2. They said, we figured since she got some K2 on her belt, she must got the real shit inside her body. Let's go get her. Sadler added that the 71 grams of suspected marijuana was found inside Washington's body. And you know damn well where that 71 
uh, ounces was. You know, I mean, up 71 grams was, was two and a half ounces. They was inside of her cooking. Damn, they gotta be a big old cookie right there. I'm telling you, man, we don't stand a chance out here. When these women be moaning, like, ooh, ah, oh, you hurting, ooh, beat that thing, knock the dust off that cookie. We ain't really doing shit. Now, some of them, they got them little virgin ones that ain't got all the mouths. Yeah, they good. But you might say, well, Trey, what do cookie got to do with this? What do mild? It got a lot to do with it because the more mild something get, what happened? It expands and spreads. Come on now. We already know. I ain't got to tell you about your body anatomy. You know it better than I do. But, you know, some of you all still tight as a frog's ass. Let's continue. Now, Washington had worked for the Department of Corrections for three years. Three years. She knew better. Tyler said and she was promoted to sergeant in March. She just got a damn promotion and just got fired and damn August. Ain't that some bullshit right there? You didn't even, you didn't even stay a hot minute on a damn job. Sometimes they put you in these positions just for you to hang your damn cell. Now, they just promoted her back in March, and all of a sudden she get caught bringing that shit into the prison in August and was immediately fired and arrested and took a picture. Took a picture of her right there at the damn prison. They didn't even wait till she left the prison. They snapped the photo right there. And there it go right there. You see it right there? You see it right there? I mean, that's embarrassing. She couldn't even look at the camera. I would have been at the camera like this. I've been just bold as hell. You bold enough to bring it in there. You got to you gotta be bold enough when it all go down. But she got her head turned like this. Like, she's just ashamed, baby. It's too late now, Miss Till. Anyway, Tyler said the state police are continuing to handle the investigation. She described the amount of drug discovered as not an uncommon of stashes that people are caught smuggling into the prison. Damn, let me find out all the women in Little Rock and from Greenville, Mississippi got them big old cookies and stuff. Let me find out what is going on because, damn, it takes a lot. And I know it, you can put some damn near everything. If it hold a baby, I'm sure it can hold some ounces. But, man, you got to understand something right there. Cookie is not meant for that. It's not It's not meant for that. You know what it's meant for? It's meant for using the bathroom and getting the hell beat out of it. Let's continue right now because somebody getting kind of hot. Anyway, now, it's more obviously than we want. She said about this woman getting caught with these uh, ounces and stuff, said the state policeman who was doing this investigation. Now, Cummins is located in Lincoln County. I knew it was a Lincoln somewhere because I kept thinking about what? Abraham Ham. Anyway, Abraham, because somebody said, Dre, you said Abraham Ham like I didn't mean to say it. Anyway, Cummins is located in Lincoln County is a prison form. Damn, what the hell is a damn prison form? With a capacity of 1,876 inmates. Shit, somebody need to smoke in there. Just imagine if you woke up around and you a man. And men are known for being called what? Hard legs. Just imagine if you woke up around 1,816 men. I mean, 1,876 men. Let's add, a, add another 60 to that. Anyway, you woke up around damn near 2,000 men. You wouldn't want to Smoke something? I mean, damn, I know you do the crime. Don't do the crime if you can't do the time. I know that. I understand that. You feel what I'm saying? But certain things is out of your control. Just say if somebody walk up to you and smack the shit out your mama right in front of you or your dad. Well, some of y'all don't care about your dad. Some of y'all don't care about your mama. But most of us care about our mama. You feel me? What if somebody just walked up and just, just looked at their hand like they were Booker T from the Hall of Heat and just did like that and just slap the shit out your mama and you go to prison for them to stumping a mud hole in their ass. You feel me? You go to prison for stomping a mud hole in their ass, a size 11 or 11, 12, whatever. And then you wake up around all these guys. You wouldn't want to smoke. That's all I'm trying to say. Sometimes we we got to understand people. Now, Tyler said the incident was the second instant of a guard at the prison being caught with marijuana in recent months. Well, damn it. How much are you paying these damn guards in Arkansas? But at the same time, you got to be crazy as hell. You think I'm going to sit up here and risk my freedom? Well, Trey, they can make a lot of money. That money don't mean shit when your ass locked up and everything. Not true. They let her out on, out, out, out on, uh, bond after they arrest her and put plastered all over the national news. But guess what? You can't even get food stamps because you got a drug charge. Ain't that some sex offenders can still get food stamps, but a person that got caught selling drugs or with drugs, you can't even damn get food stamped. What kind of shit is that for people who need it? And no disrespect to people who need it because we all fall down sometimes, like Dunn and McClurkin said. But anyway, let's go and finish up. Now, Jocks Smith, an officer at the unit, mm, 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 Jocks, was arrested July the 24th after eight ounces. He said, shit, y'all want it? Y'all want it? I ain't coming for less than eight or ten. Jock said, y'all got to pay me, Ninja, as much as it's worth. You got to pay me if I'm coming in with it. So Jocks came in. 
with eight ounces of marijuana and 52 pills were found in his car. Damn, ain't that something right there? You don't even come supposed to come on a compound with that shit. You don't even supposed to have it on a regular road. So how you gonna come on a state penal ground? Don't you know they got certain laws when you come on that property? This will apply to you. Oh my God. Anyway, now they said the rest of it was found in his car. Tyler said state police confirmed that Smith had been arrested, though it was unclear Wednesday what charges he faces. Shit, the same damn charger. Drug smuggling. The Department of Correction has struggled in recent years to keep K2 out of prisons. Shit, they're struggling to keep it out these damn bootleg ass stores. All them damn Arabs and Iranians making that damn shit and, and sending it <laughs> flooding the damn hood. You got people passed out on K2 and every damn thing. I'm talking about it's the ultimate two, three dollar damn high. The hell with that shit. Anyway, now they said it's been hell trying to keep this shit out of the prison. We talking about K2, marijuana, all that shit. Now, logging hundreds of incidents involving the drug, according to testimony given to lawmakers last year. No, we don't want you to take, and I got to say this because it makes damn sense. We don't want you to smoke weed, which is natural. You can, have, you, you can like it or you can hate it, whatever. That's your, that, I'm not trying to convert nobody to liking anything. We don't want you to do that. We want you to take our drugs, take this Percocet, take these Ritalins, these Prozacs, all this shit. We are the drug suppliers. You can't be in competition with us and think about that one. Now, because the drug is made up of a variety of chemical compounds, its composition can be quickly altered, which I said earlier in the video. They keep changing the damn chemical composition, which means if you got one over IO, then they take that out and say, well, look, we're going to put two over IO. So now it becomes legal. But then they say, well, we're going to pass law to ban the two IO. Well, they're going to come out with a Three y'all, and you just keep going on. That's why it never stops. Now, and they said it can be quickly altered to make it harder to detect and easier to smuggle. Well, evidently, y'all didn't tell Miss Tia Washington that it was easy to smuggle because her ass got caught. Let me know what you all think about this, my people in Arkansas. My people in Little Rock, I am so sorry because you all been in the news lately. You, you people in Arkansas has been in the news lately. And big shout out to Hot springs also because you all stay lit. Anyway, let me know what you think of Miss Tia. Mm, mm, mm. But did you like somebody in there? You wasn't nobody paying you enough attention out here, what we call on the streets. You had to go to the penal system to find love. What made you do it? That's all I want to know. Let me know what's your opinion about this, people. If you like the story, press that like button. If you like the story, subscribe to the channel and definitely share this video with your family and friends who thinking about trapping, who thinking about pushing that drugs across state line and also bring that shit to the jail. I'm not finna do a damn thing. If I do this for my damn self, it won't be for nobody else. Till then, I'm out.